Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Orogiri. Turns out I had time for another video for those that was just watching the previous one, but now we're going to do our third Yoshitsune video. Or explanation, let's say. So, yeah. earlier we covered weapon enhancement, smelting in the last video, and now we're going to do smithing. So this video won't be that long, but smithing should be covered. It, it, there's no reason it shouldn't. So, in weapon smithing, there are a lot of things to know and a lot of things, you know, people don't know. It, it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's go over it anyway. So we're going to uncheck everything. A lot of people don't know you can just search by weapon type. What you can do here is, if this check mark is, blah, is checked, it will only show you weapons that you are currently at the level to make despite having the recipe for them. So back in the day before we were able to smelt the Geno Buster and all the Juncture weapons, if you had this check mark checked, they would not show up. However, with the unchecked, every weapon will show up. So let's first cover the swords. Or like, let's just go to all. So here we can see all the recipes. There's a lot of them. Some of them are just unlocked by leveling up Yoshitsune. She'll learn them immediately. And others you have to find recipes in game for. Like the Paranogon, you need to complete Juncture to 50 and randomly get this weapon. It's an Odachi. Or let's say the... And on the other side of the spectrum, we have the Tiger Moth which Yoshitsune will instantly know how to craft the minute you get her to level 18. However, these bows are quite useless now, like the Tiger Moth anyway, because you can just go to Wara Bazooka and get like, or a Zombie Crossing and get an Albatross that's stronger, you know. But back in the day, the, the Tiger Moth was like the bow you wanted to have. So let's go over just stuff, you know. Okay, so the Oni no Dachi, this is a weapon, um, this is a very basic weapon you can make in Onigashima. It's actually good to start farming the materials for the Oni no Dachi very early, because I believe you need a plus 50 Oni no Dachi to make gargoyle weapons, which is a whole other class of weapons, way later down the line in our updates. So if you want to be ahead of the game, I advise a lot of people to just go farm, you know, Yakumo Temple for Daruma's Pipes, uh, Training Grounds, Juncture, whatever, where you can fight the big skeleton guys for Sinister Bones, uh, even ACM. Cotton Strips, you can get those from SF, I believe, from the Lanterns, maybe. Shell Fragments come from Kappas, you can farm, I don't know, any field, whatever. And then you need Gloom Daruma Fragments, just go farm Gloom Darumas. You know, everyone should just stack up like 99 of each of these items and just build a bunch of Oni Nodachis. And smelt those all to 50 or whatever level they need for their weapons. Trust me, it'll come in handy later. Um, that's, I think that's a very important start, place to start. So next we have the Maximilian Star, Satan Weapons. Everyone who fights Satan has the Star Recipes, they drop like candy. Uh, the Cross, however, is those take forever to get you know i have the maximilian cross recipe but i got it right after i made my maximilian star i got it to 50 so i was like oh dang karma was against me uh i don't know when i'm gonna make the cross maximilian but it'll probably be later in my to-do list because i'm fine with the star right now if i just made a cross it would just be for meditation then we have this iwao toshi it's just a random weapon uh, gun gear is one. What does it need? You need a pine staff, crab, pearl, and crow feather. These are pretty easy materials to get. Um, the gun gear is actually used for an ornamentation that is somewhat good. For those who wish to pursue it, gun gear is not that hard to make, but just you just got to know that when you smelt them up, you need to have multiple gun gears or artisan swords. And for a gun gear, I wouldn't even artisan it. Save your artisans for your 105 weapons, your Satan weapons, etc., etc. So another, I'm not going to go through every smelted weapon. Also, you can hit view and you can look at what the weapon looks like before. Like if you just want to be like that badass guy who has a cool weapon, you can look at what weapons look like before you make them. You know, Maximilian Cross is a Super Saiyan version of it, you know, normal. Oni Dodachi, etc, etc. So it's kind of cool to look at them here because you won't see their stats, but you can at least, you know, look at what they look like if you want to be badass. Uh, just to let it be known that um, 
on average, when it comes to weapons of their level, uh, smelt smith weapons are always going to be stronger than other weapons, just by nature. So this Kamatari Zakura wand, staff or whatever, uh, this thing here is going to be stronger than another 40 level equivalent thing. And gold weapons are always better than every other weapon. Like golds are better than reds on average and reds are better than blues, etc. So the Geno, you know, we're just going to look at them all. She's the Shishui, Tokyo Sword, Leviathan, Elderberry, Lorelei. That's a juncture one, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's level 87. And for this, you need a dark Kishuken Talisman. You need a bunch of stuff. It takes Oh my god. Garbog is one of the hardest weapons to make in this game. Just like, you need a Brionac at 46, which is not bad, because it's only really hard when you get the uh, Smith weapon, when you need a material weapon to be past, like, 50. <laughs> because you have to use a button if you really want to be safe. You don't want to lose all your work. You need, like, 80 crushed nails, new hearts, whatever, withering spirits, whatever. And then spider silk is the hardest thing in the game. All your wand users know how bad this is. Everything else is pretty okay. But that spider silk is like one hell of a grind, people. <laughs> wand is the garbog's the hardest one to make. Um, you know, just a random bow, 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 bow. Glazer one's a juncture bow. It's actually pretty easy to make. You just need an Artemis bow. I can make one right now. Wow. Yeah, I could. You need these to make, you need this bow, you need like, I think a plus 45 one to make a disruptor bow, which is one of the strongest bows in the game, especially for Amaya's punishment, if not the strongest. We have the Galgo star, the Satan one, Galgo's cross, the cross one. I'm trying to make that one right now, for those that don't know. Just random, spear, Gaybog spear, Trishula spear. Yoshin Spear. Oh, also let it be known that like Dragon Spear, Yoshin Spear, and Negotiation 7, uh, Moroku will sell you the Ocean Spear. I mean, you won't need it at that point, but you could have one. I have one just for the sake of having one. And then whenever we can take him to Negotiations 8, he will sell us Dragon Spears. <laughs> but at that point, Dragon Spears won't be worth anything. <laughs> they're, they're, they should be, in my personal advice, you should all, every Spear user at this point in the game should skip Dragon Spear and just go right to uh, Predator Spear. It's better in like every way. It starts at 4,000 attack. Um, then we have the Kubi Kasumata. This is the Juncture Spear. You just need a, this spear and Cursed Blood and stuff. This one should probably be skipped as well and, and just get go for Predator Spear. Geno Buster. One of the best spears in the game. It's very powerful. It's Oppenheimer's Spear. Very hard to craft. Um, you just got to do a lot of Sado because you need like 20 Pro Tenons. And you need like a bunch of other stuff, boulders, bulbs, etc, etc. And then you need this to make the Brigandia. I don't have the recipe yet, but Brigandia is not in my interest right now. You have the Armor Breaker Axe. You have the Omen of Doom Star. I find it weird how it went from Armor Breaker. Like, it went from like Spear, 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 Axe to Spear again and then Axe again. That's kind of weird. You can't even see it because of how axes are held. The Beowulf, Kansfavia, Hinokagatsuchi, that's an axe. Anchor is an axe. Ventures Gold's a hammer. Luna Symphony is the weirdest looking weapon ever. You can't even preview it because of how it's held. Garma Kilma. I do have the Garma Kilma cross recipe, but. I don't need it yet, and if trading ever comes, I know people who need it more than I do. There's a Nekogami style. Oh, that's what that is. That's why people have this. Huh. I always wonder where people got, like, the Corrin looking staff for Dragon Ball. We have this random twin sword. It's just swords. You know, a lot of them, a lot of the early Smith ones, they're not that powerful. They're not too cool. Dark Bone Sword was cool back in the day. You can't actually look at their stats when you're trying to make them. When it comes to these weapons, you have to look them up on the wiki, or I'd advise you to before you invest time into making them. Gear on swords, the juncture one. I could probably make one pretty soon. Uh, Crossvolt is the 105 twin swords. 
Uh, D3 star, Satan, D3 cross. You can see me wearing them anyway. Um, this is an Odachi. <laughs> I don't, it's like a level 30 Odachi. It's not even worth anything. Um, Monster Wolf Tachi. Some of them just look cool. You know? Kind of mitsu. I think the Kukichi Monji. This sword is, um, what do you need for it? Sukadachi sword and tricolor dango. I think you need to have two of these to get one of the sword titles in the game. I believe so. Kanemitsu, whatever. Magoroku. Like, a lot of these early weapons that you don't really need, <laughs> that are just kind of cool. They're just like those weapons you want to walk around town and people are like, hey, what's that? I've never seen that before. You want to be that cool guy. This staff here is one of the cool looking staffs. What level is the counterattack staff? Level 61. <laughs> it's cool looking. This sword's weird looking. I could make a catastrophe star, but I failed a 95 smelt and have no enhancements. I kind of just make one so I could have a uh, a rainbow uh, phallic looking sword to walk around with. With the bomb sword, which is the red lightsaber. One of the hardest weapons to make in the game because this Guren sword's drop rate is like under 2%. Please do not make the bomb sword unless you want to be a badass. Like Kotetsu. Like, just go straight to Galardia. Focus on Galardia. Galardia is the 105 sword, by the way. Um, then we have the Nothung, which is needed to make the Galardia. It's the Juncture Sword. It looks like an Icicle Dirk. It's like an Ice Sword. It has Rain Element, but swords have no Rain moves, so that's why that is. There's the Galardia there. It's like a Rapier kind of sword. Flamberge, I think. Needs like 90 Infernos, Burning Water, Tengu Exhale. Not too bad. It's not too bad to make at all, actually. <laughs> Apart from the Inferno Stones and the No Thong, uh, Galardia is pretty, pretty easy. End of Day Star, you know, it is what it is. And then if I scroll down, it's going to make people very mad because this was my first cross recipe ever, so I redeemed the End of Day's cross recipe. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of people are hungry for this thing because the majority of high level players are sword users um gravity star this long name i'm not gonna read tiger moth you know or this glitch thing if you hold swords as a girl your animation changes to the sword holding animation where you just twirl the sword back and forth and once you do it in this menu it makes you hold everything in that animation so it makes the tiger moth all the bows be held really weird so there's an easter egg for all you people. Thunderbolt. What the heck? This looks so weird. <laughs> twin swords. Even the twin swords are cutting my head off. That looks really cool. Where did I get that? The air cleaving sword. No, you need a level 65 no dachi. That's just something you find. And this is the easiest... 105 weapon to make in the game is the air cleaving sword. It looks really badass too. You know, that's really awesome. You, the only hard part is the green doppelganger mushroom, which you just have to farm Veronica for. Tengu is from Tengu and Seshushishi Fragment. You get those in Juncture from killing the, or Plover Pit from killing the foxes. Uh, Paranogon, you know. It's the juncture sword. Oh my god, that's what that is? That's the paddle? Huh. Uh, Eternal Force Blizzard is Typhon's sword. It's an Odachi. Uh, Jizumaro's a sword, I guess. This is the sword. It's just a sword. And that's all the ones I have access to. But as I said before, go to the wiki. Look up what you need, you know. As I recommended before, only make the ones that are for your class. However, the um, late game when you want to get like the 113 weapons, I think that's what they are, like Galardios and all them, those are identify weapons. You have to trade in like one of the 105 crafted weapons for it. And I advise everyone just make the air cleaving sword. The air cleaving sword is the easiest one to make. You just build up these materials. I don't know what level you need to get it to, but it's a lot easier than the Garbog or the Burgundy is pretty easy too, but you need the Geno Buster. So in that regard, air cleaving swords a lot better. Like let's say you want to get like the super disruptor, or the super cross volt, etc., etc. I'd advise people to start building up air cleaving swords, and to start building up that Oni no Dachi sword. 
Because you're going to need that for things later. What is the description of the Oni no Tachi? Tachi, whose foraging is known only through the Oni, it's traditional for Oni who leave Onigashima to carry one of these. Though it may frighten people, or Aurelia-san, this marks you as a true Oni and will help you on your journey. I'm pretty sure this weapon is needed for um, things down the line because it is the Oni sword. It's it's taking like the other smithing techniques and fusing it with your Oni smithing technique lineage to make an even better weapon. This is for the gargoyle stuff, which is conveniently in Onigashima. So there's plot and relation and all that good stuff. So, and as most people should know, you should only use your artisan swords when you're smith smithing up the weapons you make here, like the no thong, or well, not really the no thong, but like you know, Geno Busters. Mostly at this point in the game, just your 105s and your Satan crosses, or your stars if you're in a hurry. It's pretty self explanatory, but I wanted to at least go over it for those that have questions. And as always, if you have questions, hit me up in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And um, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know with a like. If you didn't, well then, congratulations for you. You're a smarty pants. Um, I mean, if it is what it is. But your support helps. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you have any questions, requests for other topics, hit me up. Let me know. I'll do them the best I can. And currently, I only make videos Monday through Friday on the weekends. I tend to take those days for myself because it's a weekend. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, hit me up. If I have time in my schedule, I might cover that topic if it's within my power. So as always, I bless your smells. I hope you pass all your ornamentations. I hope you get good grade on your weapons. Your weapons come with good skills, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Oro Geary.